that's it. You're just gonna chill. You're just gonna chill there and relax. I know you're living the life, huh? You're living the life? Yeah. <laughs> A whole new world. A new fantastic point of view. You're gonna watch all them Disney movies. Just wait. <laughs> My baby. <sighs> the dad life. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Geez, so I haven't. Well, okay. Yo, I have not weighed myself in like a month or more since August. Jeez. So it would only feel right to just start off the video doing so. So let's see how much I weigh now after like how long of not working out? Three, four weeks? Let's see how much gains I've lost. You know what? Let me clean this first because jeez, holy. This is looking dusty and dirty and ah, shit. Gotta use that Windex. That Windex, bruh. See, men can clean too, ladies. Men can clean too, sometimes better than y'all. Before I weigh myself though, let me show you guys how my physique looks. And then you guys guess down below while I'm showing my physique how much I may weigh. So I want you guys to actually comment how much I weigh before you actually see the weigh in. And I want to see who gets it right. I don't know how to pose, man. I don't know how to pose. Right? It's just, it's just, uh, there's, a, there's a pose I was doing. There was a pose I was doing for the arm. Uh, shit. I don't know how to pose still. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Look at my back. Right. Right. I think this was the pose. Right. See the arm? See the arm? So how's my physique, guys? How is my physique? This is me flexing the hardest I can. <laughs> right, and these are the bicep peaks, right? These are the bicep peaks. This bicep peak, here's my chest, right? So this is how my body looks after not training for like a month and eating like shit. I barely eat, so pretty much I've been on a cut. I've been on the cut pretty much. <laughs> But how much do you guys think I weigh? Comment that down below. By the way, I'm 5'7", 5'8". It always fluctuates around, like it's weird, but I'm 5'7", 5'8", okay? That's just to help you guys make an accurate guess. So now, comment that down below. Okay, it is time. Wrong, wrong, wait. Wrong, wrong, wait. I am not 148. So for those of you guys who guessed 148, congratulations, you are wrong. So I weighed myself twice. I weighed myself before I took a piss and after I took a piss. Before I took a piss, I weighed 147.6 pounds. I went and took a piss, but I was like, shit, yo, I may have some extra weight in me. So let me relieve it. Went back, weighed myself, and my official weight is back to 147. Just like how I started off. So I didn't really lose that much weight. I pretty much just got cut. I just got leaner basically. So I still look pretty much the same. I'm still pretty lean. Because remember I told you guys? I told you guys that when I was when I actually gained a little bit of weight, my abs wouldn't show as much. Like it was harder to flex. Cause my physique still looks pretty much the same. Like I still got pretty good, I guess, lats for my body. Uh my arms are still good. I'm cut. My arms are a lot more cut. You can see that my delts, 
right? My arms are cut. My chest is still cut. And even my chest, I was losing definition in my chest when I was gaining, when I went up to like 153, right? So yes, guys, I was making some gains when I was bodybuilding. Some people were just dissing me like, oh, you weren't making any gains. You weren't making any gains, man. Mind you, I don't even want to gain that much weight in the first place. So going up to 153 got me a lot closer to my goal than what other people would have to go to. For example, since I only want to go to like 170 or around there, that's only like 20 pounds, right? That's only like 20 pounds. So from now, from 147 to 170 is 23 pounds. That is a big difference when there's like six pound, when there's a six pound difference from 147 to 153. That's pretty big for me, as opposed to someone who's like my size and wants to go to like 200 pounds. Then that's a lot smaller. So again, you can't say, oh, that's nothing, that's nothing. Man, if I continue doing it, I probably would have reached like 160 already. And then bodybuilding calisthenics would be over faster. So, hey, a ninja's trying out here. So let me see how much gains I can make when I start back up now. I'd like to thank you guys for supporting me. Now let me go eat some food. Okay, SOS family, today is the next day and it is looking pretty shitty after that eclipse last night, which nobody pretty much saw. I don't know if you guys could see clearly, but it looked like it just rained, which freaking sucks. But yo, no excuses, I'm still gonna get my workout in, all my workouts in from now on. Like, I'm going to discipline myself to get these workouts in. I'm gonna weigh myself another time just to confirm my weight. I pissed, I brushed my teeth, did all of that. So let's see how much I actually weigh again. Yesterday I was, one for, I was 147, let's see how much I weigh now. So what you guys actually saw on the camera was the actual weight without the camera, 148.6. But remember guys, as I said before, for those of you guys who don't actually know, I don't actually care about my my actual weight. I don't care if I'm 147, 148. I go in the weight ranges. So as long as I'm traveling through weight ranges, like oh, 147 to 150, and then like 150 to like 153, and then like 153 to 158, and then that means that at least I know I'm gaining weight. Because at the same time, you have to remember, between 147 and like let's say 150, your weight could always fluctuate day to day. It could always fluctuate. So you can never actually know your exact weight. But if you're like, damn, like, well, obviously, I'm not going to fluctuate from 147 to, like, 160. So, obviously, I must weigh around there. And hopefully, my body will be changing, too, as I gain that weight. And I'm actually pretty tired because I stayed up all night trying to upload. Not trying, but I stayed up all night uploading those three reaction videos just to catch up. And then I realized what I'm going to start doing with reaction videos now, which I think I'll explain later on. Uh, but, yeah, wasn't really a the greatest response but again i kind of expected that i lost a lot of subscribers look at this so before i went to sleep i had 7880 and i pretty much lost like almost 20 subscribers in eight hours or something but again i don't mind i actually don't mind that i don't mind losing all those subscribers because at least i'm, tr I'm trying to take the risk to take my channel to the next level. I'll speak more on that in another video. This is probably building cast tanks time, so let me go get some food. You see, for those of y'all who do not have this cereal, have not tasted it, you're missing out, bro. I'm whispering because, you know, people are sleeping. But yes, one serving, one freaking serving, 13 grams of protein, 54 grams of carbs. But who the hell has one serving of cereal? And this is going to be my pre-workout slash breakfast. Freaking cereal, but I like this one. I feel like it's quality. And plus I got my two other meals for later on. What is this? This is my, you can't see it, hold on. This is my rice and corned beef, my potato salad and chicken. So I'm good with carbs and protein for the day. Or well, not for the day, but for now. So just finished eating. So I'm going to wait for my food to digest just a little bit, you know, you don't want to go straight to working out after eating. So just watch some Chris Jones just to kill some time. Some pump chasers, representing pump chasers. And you know what? Another person actually brought the idea too. 
even though I already thought of doing it already, but I'm gonna make a follow-up video to the Vince G POG thing. It's gonna be my last. It should be my last video on it because my opinions have kind of changed because now I'm starting to see after one of those latest POG videos that Vince uploaded. I'm sure a lot of you guys know which one I'm talking about, the Who's Holler one. I'm starting to really see why Vince needs to be cut now. Like why, or not even cut from POG, whatever. Forget that. Why now? I see why Chris really has to go his own way. You get my point. So, stay tuned. Damn, Chris. Like yo, I feel his pain though. Like he has a crazy hairline. Like it's far back. It's so far back. But you know what? Hey, I'm a part of the team too, bro. I'm a part of the team too. This freaking far ass lineup making me look like George Jefferson. A lot of mercy. But you know what? At least I'm growing my curls. The curls and the afro should make my head look a little bit smaller, right? You look whole ready? Come on, guys. I'm kind of cute. Don't you think so? Hey, the man himself replied to strength over size. I was basically saying he should uh, do the bald head again with the beard, but he said his beard was fucked up. That was his words, not mine. Okay, so let me go get the workout in now. Let me go get it in. I'm just so pissed that the weather is so trash. See, so I want you guys to see my pump right now. Do you see that? Man. Look at that. I wish I knew how to pose. Like, like this. <laughs> I see Christian Guzman like wave his arms like this when he's posing. Right? I don't know how to make my waist look slimmer. But jeez, I'm liking this. I'm liking it, and I cannot wait until I start gaining that mass again because as you guys can see, I'm at 147, and I really do believe I'm gonna hit like 155, at least by the end of the year. Like, is that something reasonable, guys? 155 by the end of the year? Not all muscle. Obviously, that has to be reasonable. But yeah, guys. Oh man, that workout messed me up. But look at this. Look at this. Like, yo, like I'm, I am feeling whole ready already. Jeez. With these BBC jeans. Look at the chest though. Look at the chest though. Look at, yo, look at that. Look at that. And this is me. This is how my body looks after not eating well and taking a month off. You see how I got cut again? Like I got a lot more leaner. That is what happens to me basically. So I don't really lose. I have to like not work out for like a year for me to go back to how my shitty body used to look. I'll put the picture on the screen. My body used to look like complete crap in my opinion. And now I'm just like, yo, what has calisthenics done to me? Look at that. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, if I haven't already said it already. I think I did say it, did I say it? Well anyway, yo, that workout effed me up. Like I didn't train for over a month, or not over a month, but around a month, 30 days. Because you know, I didn't. I know my the last time I trained was before my son was born, and that had, that had to be August the night. The last time I trained was in August, and it's almost October. And basically, I've been trying to get my life back on track. I've been trying to get my YouTube back on track. A lot of people unsubscribed last night when I uploaded three videos. I uploaded three reaction videos, okay? And I know I know a lot of people aren't a fan of those, but a lot of people are too. Like some, or at least some people. And I just, I like it too, I like reaction videos, but that's not the point. Uh, basically, I've been trying to get everything on track, and it's just been, a, it's been taking a toll, man. Like, having a kid, like, it's not even like, it, it's an excuse. It's like, everybody should know. Anybody who had a kid knows how much, you know, having a kid kind of throws you off, right? It throws us off, man. Like, it's, it's not like you could just have a kid and, oh, life is normal again. Like, that's like, the, that's one of the biggest changes you could ever go through in your entire life. Like, besides, not, I don't even think marriage is on on that list like on t it's on that list but i don't even think marriage is as big as having a kid because marriage can end like in a year and it's whatever you go your separate ways having a kid is like that person is in your life forever so basically it's like that threw me off and again that only really threw me off for what a few weeks so at least i'm bouncing back relatively quickly some people have a kid and they just throw their entire dreams away like they're just done 
right? Some people reach like past a million, two million, three million subscribers and they quit YouTube, right? So at least I'm still trying my best to keep the content coming from fitness reactions, even the little mini skits I do in the beginning of my videos. And sometimes, well, I don't really vlog yet, but soon enough I will vlog when my life is actually interesting enough to vlog. But as I promised, finally bodybuilding with calisthenics is back. And since my life is more on track, because look at this guys, look, uh, you see guys, I have my, I have my McDonald's job orientation I have to fill out, or the orientation papers, like the contract and my hours and all that stuff, right, I have things back on track finally, I'm able to see my son every day, soon enough he'll, he'll be able to come to my house, like visit my house and whatnot. Uh, my job is finally better because the other job I had, it just wasn't for me. So I have this McDonald's job which fits my schedule. I get to work in the afternoon and evening time. Uh, what else? And that's pretty much all I really have in my life now. I don't have school. I don't have all the other obligations. Now all I gotta do is start this McDonald's job, get my schedule, see how it is, and then I just do YouTube work. YouTube work and find time to like do other stuff like, you know, see my friends and stuff because I don't really have I haven't really gotten the chance to spend time with you know my people man like I haven't I've been in my house all day or all day every day or seeing my son I haven't really been going out right so again you know this is a journey you guys are watching this channel like I don't want you guys to look at this channel as just a fitness channel you guys are looking at it as like yo this guy went from starting off just making videos on the field talking about whatever the hell he was talking about uh, and then he branched off, tried powerlifting, and he's gonna do it again soon enough. He did bodybuilding, right? Uh, he had a kid, he's doing all these different things. Like, I want to inspire you guys to just chase your dreams. And a lot of you guys have been telling me that I've been inspiring you guys. So again, it's like, that is what my goal is. I know I lost a lot of subs for doing what I'm doing, but hey, I'd rather make an impact and prove that I'm trying to be myself no matter what than just to try to do whatever I can. Like, come on, because again, think about it, guys. Think about it. If I know these are the videos that's gonna get me a bunch of views, these bodybuilding and cow stanks videos, powerlifting and cow stanks videos, don't you think if I just want to do for views, I would just make these videos every freaking week? Like, sit, like think about it, think about it. Because I almost fell into that trap with powerlifting and calisthenics. I was making videos, and when I started powerlifting and calisthenics, that started getting me views out the ass. So, I was doing it like three times every single week. I was just doing it every single week. I was on point. I didn't, I swear I didn't even miss like one episode. I was just doing it on point. Except for the time when the break happened, so I didn't have the gym available. I was on point when it came to powerlifting and calisthenics. And I was getting views, but look, right? I, 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 I broke out of it because I was losing my creativity. And that's where, like, that's where I started feeling guilty or bad about myself. So again, it's like, I try to be as transparent and real with you guys. And I hope that a lot of you guys can, like, just, like, respect that. Like, yo, this guy, like, it's true. Like, I can't even, I can't even diss this guy, man. Like, he's being honest. Because I could clearly see that his Bible and the Cow Stanks videos gets the most views. And that he's still going on with what he wants to do. So again, it's like, I'm just trying to be real. Like, I don't want people to try to call me fake. Like, you're just trying to do this for views and stuff. Like, no. That's the, I don't want that. I really don't want that. And I want to have fun. Like, why would you guys want to watch a YouTuber who's admitting that he does not want to only make fitness videos? He doesn't only want to make skits or only wants to make comedy. Like, some of us just want to share our real life experiences, you know? So, man, how long have I been rambling on? I'm always rambling on. Let me get into the bodybuilding with calisthenics stuff. So, with bodybuilding with calisthenics, I changed up my training split. I want to do three days, three days of the week. I want to be training my upper body three times, so not two times anymore. Before I used to do push, pull, legs. Well, I never, I barely trained legs. But I'll do push, pull, legs, push, pull, legs, rest, right? So that means I train each body group twice. Now I want to train my entire upper body three times a week. So I do, I do push and pull on Monday, push and pull Wednesday, and push and pull Friday, right? And legs, I fit it in whenever I want to fit it in. I actually think I might do legs on Wednesday because after this workout I don't believe I'm able to, I think I'll be too sore to actually do the workout on Wednesday but anyway uh, I'm basically trying to increase the frequency of which I train uh, my muscles because I, I don't know I feel like that's just a lot better like three I think three three is the sweet spot four to five you're kind of reaching the advanced level like I think I could do it after a while not now but Three, I think, is that sweet spot, especially if you want to train legs and stuff, and especially if you're bulking. If you're bulking, I try to keep my workouts 
really compact, like, or my training splits compact. Like, I don't want to try to bulk, but train almost every day, because that's burning so many calories. I'd rather burn a lot of calories in one day and have more rest days, so my body could grow, it could rest, and on the rest days, I burn less calories, and therefore I eat a bunch of food, boom, gain more muscle, right? Gain more weight. So basically, I'm training three times, three times, not three times a week, but I'm training my upper body three times a week and legs no lie i'm gonna be honest with you guys train legs probably one to two times a week right one to two times a week i'm gonna be honest with you guys i know you guys are like yo like how the hell are you gonna be a trainer and stuff and you recommend training legs i'm like yo it's me man it's just my personal it's my personal thing that i want to do for myself i'm not telling you guys to do it remember bodybuilding and calisthenics isn't me telling you guys how to train those videos are different those videos are totally different from what i'm trying to tell you guys any type of series videos you will see, like if I do parkour later on, if I do when I do powerlifting and calisthenics, those videos are for me, my personal fitness growth. You get it? So I'm not telling you guys that we, that's what you should do. That's just what, that's what I want to say for that. Again, I just want to reiterate that like I, I say this all the time. I really do appreciate you guys. I always listen to what you guys are saying and. Like you guys, you guys push me. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, like I'm just like, I get anxious. I'm like, yo, please just be patient with me. Be patient with me. And I know I understand why some people unsubscribe. Like I don't even feel like, here's the, th I don't even feel like people unsubscribe because you know, I was uploading other type of videos. I think people unsubscribe because they're losing patience and they really want to see fitness videos. But for those of you guys who stuck around, I thank you guys. Like I just want to make sure I got back on track. As I said before, I was going to bring back Bible and Cast Things last week, but I just wasn't ready yet i just wasn't ready because not only is yes bodybuilding and calisthenics I, I know it's a series on my channel you guys like watching for entertainment but at the same time it's my personal fitness development and i, and I that comes first and foremost like i want to make sure that i'm not just doing it for views like i actually want to make even if i was not making videos out of this i want to make sure that i'm actually gaining muscle and getting stronger or getting bigger like man like i like physique like i love i actually like you know the physique portion of fitness even though i'm strength over size i'm not like i'm not like oh because i'm strength over size i'm only going to like strength like oh i thought i heard my phone ringing like the theme song but yeah it's like i like all aspects of fitness man i like all aspects of fitness so this is just a personal thing for me and i just want you guys to like stick with me man stick with me i don't want you guys to think i'm giving up on fitness okay so i think that is it I hope you guys are happy that it's back and I will try to stick to the schedule every other week Three episodes a week and even in the weeks where I'm not recording bodybuilding or calisthenics I'm still working out because at the end of the day I'm not only recording just so I could get a video up I'm recording it just so I could document my progress for you guys and the same and for me and at the same time like I'm you know, next week I'm not recording bodybuilding and calisthenics, but at the same time, I'm still going to be working out. You get my point? So yeah, uh, yeah, stay tuned for Wednesday's episode. I hope you guys, uh, I'm just tired, man. I'm tired. I don't know what I'm saying. <sighs> I'm out, guys. Done. Literally bawling her eyes out. Hey, Zach, uh, just a little pet peeve How much of a bet she's uh, actually bawling her eyes use out? use the word literally so loosely because it means that my eyes fell out i knew it i knew it yeah, no.